turns out, speaking of college campuses, those 34 Harvard University student groups, well, they signed that letter this weekend blaming Israel for all the violence. Yeah, they blamed Israel, not They don't have the guts to actually stand behind their words. It's shocking, I know. Today, some are now claiming harassment. The conservative media group Accuracy in Media started driving billboards around campus revealing who they claim signed on to the letter. I'm not sure why we blurred the pictures. Over the weekend, they wrote, we, the undersigned student organizations, hold the Israeli regime entirely responsible for all the unfolding violence. The apartheid regime is only one to blame. But they don't like their pictures being shown that they signed that letter. A handful of CEOs took note and asked for names of those in the organizations. They didn't want people who supported terrorists working for them. But now the CEOs are somehow harassing the kids. This is a tweet from a Harvard Law student, Mahani Tangri. She says, I'm a Harvard Law student. Congratulations. So I know many members had no say in whether their organization signed either letter. Many weren't even notified that their organizations were considering doing this. No need for this level of harassment. We asked Moni to come on. She refused. We would have asked if any of her friends had perhaps wanted to speak out and say, I'm going to resign from this group. But she didn't want to come on. Bill Ackman, who originally asked for the club members, wrote, it is not harassment to seek to understand the character of the candidates that you are considering for employment. And as we said, there are a few members, though, of the club publicly denouncing the letter. We would love to have any of them on. So far, we haven't been able to connect. The university, of course, Harvard University, some are even now calling it Hamas Harvard, still has the spine of overcooked spaghetti. And not to be outdone, Harvard's Arab Alumni Association wants its members to consider providing, quote, legal counsel, health care, mental health support, financial aid, or mentorship to those that signed the letter. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.